Okay, so uh, now we're inside of Windows 8.1, and uh, we're going to come down here. This is what we're hunting for, Get Windows 10. If you do not see Get Windows 10, that means that you have not completed all of your updates. You have to have all of your updates. So simple, over here to the right-hand side, come down here to Settings, go to Control Panel, scroll down to the bottom, choose what lasted choose windows update if you do not see this that means that you are set at category come over here from category to large icons scroll down to the bottom choose windows update and then once windows update opens uh come over here and check for updates and then it will grab a hold of all of your updates you need all of your updates in 8.1 of windows in order to see get windows 10 so let's go ahead and click on get windows 10 All right, as you can see here, uh, how to get Windows 10 for free, reserve your free full copy of Windows 10 now. Upgrade when you get a notification that Windows 10 has downloaded and is ready for you. Enjoy Windows 10 for 119, but that is uh, marked through, it's free. So let's go ahead and reserve your free upgrade. Okay, so now what we've got to do is that we've got to enter in the email address that we had for our Windows 8 system. So we set up an email address, uh, this right here is set up for my mother. Okay, and uh, yes, I also want to receive the latest Windows news tips and offers from Microsoft. Let's go ahead and do that. I'd give my mother something to read every once in a while. Let's go ahead and send confirmation. There's nothing else you need to do. You'll get a notification on your PC or tablet when Windows 10 is ready for you. Go ahead and click on close. So uh, what we got here is so that we've got our removable disk and it's sitting inside of here. So uh, it did not auto launch. And so what we're gonna do is that, well, how do you launch it? Is that you come over here to your file explorer down here at the bottom, right click on it. And let's just go ahead and choose file explorer. And then once that opens, you come over here, double click on our drive, and then let's go ahead and choose setup. Okay, so uh, I get important updates. These updates will help the installation go smoothly. Uh, and can include important fixes and updates device drivers. If you don't install these updates now, you will get them later from Windows Update. So what we're gonna do is that we're just gonna go ahead and choose not to do that right now. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check right there. And then we're gonna click on next. Okay, let's go ahead and do our license agreement. Come down here and click on accept. Okay, uh, now we're setting up for ready to install. You won't be able to use a PC while Windows installs. Save and close your files before you begin. To recap, you've chosen to install Windows 10 Home because that's what this system is. So if you do have Windows 10 Home, you're going to have to install Windows 10 Home. If you want Windows 10 Pro, then you can upgrade it to Windows 10 Pro. I think it's $99 to upgrade from Windows 10 Home to Windows 10 Pro. But you will need to do this first, either that, or you can purchase the Windows 10 Professional CD and do this all yourself, or you can purchase it online and download it to USB. So anyway, uh, this is what we're going to be doing. So I've got to stop the Camtasia and go ahead and save my file. And then, uh, yeah, we will see you after this is done. Okay, as you can tell, we are now in the new Windows 10 operating system on my mother's HP 2000 computer. So it did install it and install it very well. So we got our start menu right here, and whenever it opens up, we've got all of our uh, goodies right here, our most used, our recently added, our file explorer, which is 
uh, basically the same thing as what this is whenever we right click on File Explorer here. Um, it seems like uh, to continue using OneDrive you need to update it. I'm not cons even concerned about OneDrive. So anyway, we come over here, we can right click on uh, File Explorer. And uh, <clears throat> it does seem to be just a little bit sluggish on this system. Uh, let's come over here and bring up in Task Manager and let's see exactly what is going on. And uh, for those that are not used to it, this is the new Task Manager. Uh, you saw this similar to it in Windows 8 and 8.1. But our CPU usage is screaming, and so it's already at like 99%. So let's see what's causing it. Uh, we've got a window, window audio device uh, graph, which is right here. Isolation, which I'm not really sure exactly what that is, but that's uh, at 17. We got all sorts of stuff that is trying to run, and I'm not really sure exactly what everything is. But anyway, it's got our CPU screaming, and uh, so yeah, it's going to be really hard to do anything. Let's try it one more time. Right click on our, on our uh, our Explorer folder, and it gives us all of our uh, items there is the same thing as our file explorer right here whenever we click on it it gives us these items right here and so you can come into this area and you can uh, rearrange all of the icons that you need I've got uh, videos on that however I am going to go in and do a beginners I am going to go in and do a beginner's uh, video lesson or series on how to use Windows 10 properly and how to access everything. So uh, please look out for that. But anyway, we have Windows 10 upgraded from Windows 8, 8.1 to Windows 10 right now. Okay, this is Wayne Barron for darkfix.net and I will be doing the full install later on. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.